Have you noticed in Outlook's calendar that certain times are sort of greyed out where the rest is pure white? That's actually your working hours and you can change that as you need to. Hi, I'm Michelle, a computer coach here sharing tips and tricks to help you use your everyday programs just that little bit easier. Why is it important to have your working hours set correctly? Well, if you're using the meeting options and you've invited people in, you want to be able to find some time that everybody's free. Outlook actually looks at the available time, the working hours to make sure that things are booked within, well, the working hours. The default here in Outlook is actually, as you can see, 8 a.m. all the way to five. Now I don't work eight till five. I don't know if you do, but I'd like to change that to be my real hours, which fortunately are nine to five. So I'm going to click on file. And of course I need to move my picture out of the way. So let's just move me. I need to click options at the bottom. That opens up my options dialog box. And of course this is about my calendar. So that's the command that I'm going to select on the left hand side. And you can see work time is the very first option. Start time is eight. Well, no, I don't work from eight o'clock. Please note, it actually defaults to zero when you open it up. So make sure that you do select the right time from eight. And I do finish at five o'clock generally. You can change your working days. This is only useful if you have a regular pattern. If one day you work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the next week you work uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this isn't going to work. But if you only ever work, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you can take Thursday and Friday out. It will hide them in your calendar, but at least it shows you exactly which days you work and people are going to hopefully not book meetings on your non-working days. You've also got the option to change the first day of the week from Monday to any of the other ones. I prefer Monday and the first week of the year starts on January the 1st. We can also see it's the first four day or the first four weeks. So you do have different options depending how you like. I'm going to click OK because I'm happy that I've changed that from nine to five. And if I scroll up, you'll see that my working hours have now changed to match what I've just set. This will hopefully ensure that nobody books uh, me for a meeting outside of my working hours, but don't forget, if they really want to, they still can. I hope that you found this tip useful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment to say what hours you normally work. Uh, remember, if you'd like to get notified of new videos come up, to subscribe to my channel and click that bell. I'll see you next time.